Hi, I'm Karen and in today's video I'm going to show you how henna can straighten out your curls a bit. Um, so as you can see I have curly hair and I hated it as a kid. I quite like it now but um, sometimes I like to just have it a little less curly and I remembered I was dyeing my hair with henna for a while and the condition was just wonderful. I didn't continue with it because henna turns your hair very red and red hair does not suit me so I stopped with the henna. So henna, yeah, it can straighten out your curls a little bit and it's actually quite nice. Um, my hair's been a little bit damaged because of heat drying in winter um, so I just like to give it a bit of a treatment with the henna. I'm using a clear henna so I'm hoping it does not change the colour at all because as I said I don't look good with red hair but what I'll do is I'll put the henna on it's actually quite a process and then I'll show you the results at the end. So I've put the henna on my hair I uh, put it onto hair that's been washed not conditioned it's the clear henna so it's the cassia obovata I mix that with some hot water water and put it into the Nutribullet then applied it to my hair I left it on overnight I thought the longer the better for best results I've done that before with uh, just regular henna and uh, the results were fantastic however this time I washed my hair and I could feel it just didn't feel right it felt very dry um, so I conditioned it dried it and it was terrible it was so dry and frizzy it was just awful so I reapplied it washed my hair again um, reapplied it uh, put it on for about two hours and then um, just rinsed it off and rinsed it with lots and lots of conditioner I didn't shampoo it a second time um, and this is the result it's a little bit better than it was it was honestly so dry and horrible um, so this is actually an improvement the curls have come out slightly just a little bit slightly uh, flattened the curls um, the conditions not great it's not what I remember the other henna being like so gave it a lot of thought and I've decided to put regular henna in just because the the condition is that much better. Um, as far as the red goes, the red happens as the hair fades so as you wash it the hair starts to go a bit red. Uh, I am going a little bit grey now so I will be using henna to colour the greys and, and just um, and kind of colour my own hair as well. So. I do that every three weeks, three, four weeks anyway, so I figured by the time the red starts to appear, I'll be colouring it again anyway and getting that nice rich colour as well. So I'm going to do that and I'll come back and I'll show what the results are. So the hen is now done. I think it's quite a good result. I use Kaka Broon by Lush. Uh, it comes in a block and I chopped up two squares, mix it with some boiling water and then put it in the Nutribullet to blend it up to a kind of cake batter like consistency. I then, um, what I did was I washed my hair first, let it dry and then sectioned it with a hairdressing brush and applied it with that brush, first to the roots and then through to the ends. It is quite messy, um, it's very gritty and it starts to dry as you apply it to your hair. Uh, it's even messier to rinse it out so I left it on for four hours and then I rinsed it in um, just warm water and then used lots of conditioner to help rinse it out even more. Then I put a conditioning treatment on it, left that on for about half an hour and just rinsed that out and then dried it. Kaka Broon is a mix of indigo henna, red henna and coffee beans. It also has nettles in it for shine and it has seaweed in it for softness as, as well. Um, I'm really happy with the results. It has flattened out the curls a little bit. It's also settled down that frizz that the Cassia obovata or the clear henna uh, caused it to have, which I'm really relieved about. It doesn't look too red. I think it's just a nice, deep, rich colour. Um, yeah, and, and I'll just continue to do that. In the future, I might also add a bit of the dark or the black henna that Lush have as well. So this one that I used was a dark brown, but they also have a black. And I remember I used to I used one square of each, mix it up together, and it used to give a really nice deep 
uh, brown with a little less red in it with the, the black square in it as well so yeah I'm happy with it um, I, I'll continue to do this like I said my hair does have a bit of grey so every three four weeks I'm, I do have to colour it anyway so it's nice that no, nice to know that I'll be looking after the condition of the hair as well if you have any questions at all about henna or colouring hair uh, just send me a message I'll be happy to answer them and I'll see you in the next video